one chance, got one job. Go to KaplanCycles.com forward slash raffle, and you could win the Kaplan America CR500. Ripper. What did you do to it? Gave it the wizard tune. Cob work was a secret. Starts first or second kick every time. This thing is fast. It's an absolute rocket ship. Let's take her across the street. Rip off. Rip your house right off the damn foundation. <laughs> Welcome back to the time machine, fellas, at the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is straight out of the class of 1984. Honda CR250, two-stroke, liquid-cooled, fire-breathing dragon in the Tahitian red with the blue and white seat cover. This thing's absolutely stunning. It has the red, white, and blue 250 logo and the Honda wing. This thing is absolutely beautiful, ready to roll into the floor of the museum or right to the starting line at the AHRMA. Starting at the front of the bike, it's got a brand new Dunlop Geomax MX53F front tire and tube. The front wheel's been serviced. The brakes have been serviced. It's got a brand new front fender, brand new front number plate. The fork boots are brand new blue factory style original brakes. The brakes work beautifully. The um, Renthal bars are the uh, gray H971s with the red and black Renthal crossbar pad. It's got a new anodized aluminum kill switch, brand new set of uh, Renthal Waffle style grips, safety wired on on this side here. New clutch perch, new clutch lever. The original gas tank's been polished by the restoration staff here at, at the shop. Has a new blue radiator uh, or um, gas breather hose. The fuel peacock is in brand new condition. It has a brand new fuel line. The carb, the key in carb has been completely dismantled, cleaned in the carb cleaning tank, rebuilt and reassembled. You can see the air box boot is just beautiful. It looks brand new, brand new air filter. The engine has been completely gone through. The um, entire motor has been repainted. All the, the bolts and all the finishes are polished up on it. It's got a brand new DG exhaust on it. Full polished DG exhaust. Check this thing out, man. Just beautiful. It has a factory finish on it with a polished aluminum DG baffle. The kicker has been polished like chrome. The whole engine's repainted. The original brake lever and brake and foot pegs are in perfect condition. Telltale sign this thing has not been hammered by a pro. Usually the pegs would be all bent up and the cases are bent up and everything else. Swing arm's in nice shape. Has the original factory graphics on there. Again, an indication of low, low use. The original factory rim is in good condition. Just beautiful Dunlop MX-52 rear tire. Uh, the chain and sprockets front and rear are in, it's a brand new chain, brand new front sprocket. The rear sprockets like new. Uh, the original chain guide's in good condition. The original wheel's in good condition. Hub's real nice. The hub has been repainted. The engine's been completely repainted. The frame's been side rails and bottom part has been all repainted. Original factory paint on the upper. Just a beautiful piece. And these things are fast, as you'll know from the riding demo. And the pictures, take a close look. She's in great shape. The frame rails are in very good condition. Uh, no big dents. This actually, from where I'm feeling it from, I can't see, but it feels like brand new. How's it look from your side, Junior? Perfect. Shifter's in beautiful shape. The shifter peg side is in mint condition. Let's check out the other side of the frame. Again, excellent condition on the frame rails. Usually they're all caved in. The um, bike's just a beautiful survivor. If you like Hondas from this era, take a look to your left. We've got the 60, the 80, the 125, the 250, and the 500. This might be the first time this century that these have all been together. Uh, it's been, well, 35 plus years since they were on the showroom floor together. And it's let's call this a reunion with the OG original 73 CR250. 
We've got the Big Brother, the brand new 2022. Then we've got the Built500.com, the most badass aluminum frame, 500cc Eric Gore fire breathing dragon I've ever seen. Buy your tickets, guys. Buy your ticket today. You could win this 97 CR500 for a $10 donation to the New England Motorcycle Museum. Buy your tickets online at KaplanCycles.com or New England Motorcycle Museum.org. Back to this bike right here. 250 is the ultimate combination for the track. I think the lap times on the 250s were often the fastest on the track. The, the 500s can be a handful unless you're a big guy like me. Um, beautiful piece. A lot of the hardware is new on the bike. Some cool trick pieces like the drilled washers on here and the new hardware. The uh, radiator cap is polished. All the aluminum on the bike's been polished, including the fork lowers. Um, let me grab the work order just in case I left anything out. I think I covered pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty much covered everything. A total of 19 hours labor plus parts came to $2,105. Um, we're running VP110 and the number plate graphics are by Christy Steiger, Steiger Graphics. It's been uh, gone through and test ridden and she's a ripper. If you have any questions about her, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Now's your chance to own a classic Elsinore CR250 two-stroke before they're all gone. Good luck bidding. God bless America.